You are listening to KGNU 88.5 FM, Boulder County Public Radio. This is Indian Voices. Going on, young Indian producers. The idea of Native American radio uh, originated in about November 78 here at KGNU uh, with a program called Generations. And it had to do with the uh, past, present, and future generations of Native American people. Richard Tuelk of an Ogallala, Lakota, who helped start Native American radio. That's how originally the idea began, was to, to find out what's going on out there in the Indian world and to bring the people to the radio station or to take a recorder to them and to, and to document that and to present that uh, for everyone uh, on the airwaves. Of Wounded Knee Massacre, this is Hot Toy. It's In 1983, the program became Indian Voices. There are only a few of us who are uh, serious journalists and recorders who are doing this kind of a work Thank nationally. So we recruited some kids from the community here. We uh, basically went to the Title V Indian Education Program here in Boulder and uh, suggested to them that if there were any kids interested in communications, we'd be uh, willing to teach them uh, radio. There are more tribes giving it up because every time they dance, there is trouble. That concludes our background report about the Gus Dance religion. The students took the name Going On, Young Indian Producers. They are a formal team of, of young Indian producers who, as a team, can go out and, and collect information, bring it back, and, and present it. And uh, so some of them would have uh, strength in uh, words, language, communication, so they could do the interview. Another person might have more strength in a technical standpoint, so they would run the recorder. To date, they've accomplished 19 programs. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do this whole thing, my whole interview first, and then this is When I first yeah. suggested the idea of Northern Plains News, circa 1890, I wanted to know, and I asked them directly, what, uh, what stories should we do? In other words, what, what do you think about what's happening in 1890? He said, well, uh, we know that there were chiefs. We know that there were very famous chiefs at the time. We know that there were a lot of Indian wars taking place at that time. And we know that the, uh, the ghost dance happened. And uh, one of them even made reference to that there had been a major blizzard at around that time. So from that standpoint, I got a, a sense of, of what their perception of the past was. We're trying to introduce these young people really to, to some basic uh, uh, research mechanisms, some tools. So I have a, uh, an extensive library, specialized materials library that I've been collecting for about 15 years. So I have almost all the books that they need. I've got uh, uh, whole files on like the Wounded Knee Massacre from ten different points of view. I've got Mooney's work on the ghost dance religion. I've got historical statements about, uh, about Sitting Bull and, and newspapers and clippings. In this edition, we will present our top stories for the year 1890. First, we have our lead story, a report from Sky on the recent massacre at Wounded Knee. Following that is a follow-up report from Shanda on the arrest and killing of Hunkapa Chief Sitting Bull. The process for them in terms of uh, being able to, to learn more about themselves and their traditions is, is different today than it was, uh, say, for myself 10 years ago. It was a discovery process when I was a young person and we were, we were trying to recover for a large part missing aspects. Today, uh, we've recovered a large part of those missing aspects and, it, and it's more of, well, which one do you want to accept? Well, for Northern Plains News, at the site of Wounded Knee Massacre, this is Sky. That's the exciting part of it is that is that it really isn't a choice of either or. It's it's uh, realizing that there are many options and that you can go to all these options and draw something from each of them and from all those different parts make up who you are going to be. Special thanks for Robert Rendon, our weekly technician. Music features in this program. Following the broadcast, the team meets to evaluate the production. Did you think you did well? The delivery was even? Yeah. It was an extremely complicated program. Yeah, and we got it in within the time frame, too, so that was an added bonus. Yeah, that was. Yeah, and, and we didn't spill over, we didn't stretch out. So we'll probably have to redo it to get a real good production out of this, right? We, as Indian people, have always stressed the importance of our future generations, and we need to, to look at our own children in our own homes and say, well, uh, what, what would you like to know? You know? How can I help you learn that? Uh, we have to make that time.